Good afternoon. Welcome. My name is Dr. Farah Hayes. I'm the Dean of Academics here at Gadsden State Community College. I'm also the Chair of the Honors Program. Thank you so much for joining us today here in Wallace Hall. Um, we look forward to spending the next uh, hour with you as we award some of our most outstanding students with uh, a with all of the gratitude and thanks for who they are. Um, right now, I want to turn it over to our a cappella choir who are in the balcony as they are going to sing the Star Spangled Banner. So please stand. Well, thank you so much, students. Excellent job. We appreciate that very much. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Kathy Murphy. I'm the president here at Gadsden State. I can't think of a better place to be on a rainy, dreary Wednesday afternoon than coming and celebrating here with us. So thank you for doing that. I want to take just a moment to thank the individuals who are on stage with me. We have a number of colleges that will be presenting scholarships. We're so grateful for the opportunity to transition our students from our two-year college to your four-year college. We also are very appreciative to those who have or are providing individual scholarships today. So regardless of whether it's a college or individuals, whatever your group, thank you so much for uh, donating and to give to our students as they continue their journey. To our students, we are exceptionally proud of you. Thank you so much for working hard. Thank you so much for distinguishing yourself and studying maybe when others were playing. Uh, and we are very proud of you, and we're glad to have this time with you today. Thank you so much. Good afternoon, I'm Dr. Billy Jenkins. I'm a professor here at Gadsden State teaching philosophy and psychology, and I am honored to be here at Honors Day with you. Um, I am gonna try to pronounce all the names correctly. If I don't, just keep in mind that I am old, I am tired, I have an eight-year-old child, and he keeps me busy all the time, and I just wanna tell you that I'm gonna do my best to celebrate you because you deserve celebration. If you um, have a scholarship marked numbers one through four, please come to the right-hand side of the stage and wait for your name to be called. Each year, Jacksonville State University is pleased to offer transfer scholarships to students at Gadsden State based on their academic achievements. Tristan Taylor is here today to pre present scholarships on behalf of Dr. Don Killingsworth, Jr., President of Jacksonville State University. From everyone 
at the friendliest campus in the South. Congratulations on this great accomplishment. We can't wait to have you at JSU. The words of Dr. Uh, Killingsworth. The JSU Gamecock Transfer Scholarship recipients are Max Hefner. Y'all let Max through. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Max Hefner. Our next recipient is Jonas Jackson. Jarrett Sampson. Neely Welsh. Bradley Williams. And Kristen Wright. Now we're going to move on to the JSU Opportunity Transfer Scholarship recipients. The recipients are Madison Atchley. <laughs> Leah Campbell. Patience Carr. Alexa Compton. Carson Davis. Brianna Farrell. Mason Faulkner. Mallory Gilbert. Harrison Glenn. Sabella Henry. Zyler Higgins. Samantha Hughes. Emily Johnson. Garcia Kirksey. Madeline Layfield. Jennifer Lee. Kevin Lee. Nehemiah Lorica Lucas. Alyssa McNeil. Hugh Moore. Bo Parker, Katie Parker, Joshua Parrish,
Kendra Perry. Cadence Priest. Jackson Prim. Brian Rivas. Alexander Robinson. Zachary Sparks. Grace Sun. Morgan Thompson. Evan Teague. Case Townsell. Lillian Usri. Natalie Ward. Kari Weinman. Nicholas Young. Cynthia Inculikie. And after Cynthia receives her award, we'll go on to the JSU Academic Transfer Scholarships. And those go to Layla Abernathy. Griffin Amos. Malia Barnati. Katie Britton. Zayla Bush. Kimberly Madry. Andrew May. Laura Pierce. Kelly Pruitt. And Lexi Sanderson. Now we move on to the JSU Presidential Transfer Scholarships. The recipients are Audrey Bowen, Reed Bradshaw, Yi Chen, Denia Cunningham, Jacob Davis, Lauren Davis, Andrew Dunlap, Connor Faulkner, Stephanie Helms, sorry, Stephanie Harris, Samantha Jose,
Annie Jones. Grayson Kellett. Emma Ray. Scott Rogers. Stacy Rodriguez. Sabri Ross. Brandon Turner. Coriana Underwood. Sydney Whiteside. And Summer Zamora. Let's give all these JSU transfer scholarships a round of applause. Now, if you have a scholarship marked number five through eight, please make your way forward and uh, to the right, please. We're going to move on to the University of Alabama transfer scholarships. Ms. Michaela Williams is here today to present scholarships on behalf of Dr. Stuart Bell, president of the University of Alabama. The University of Alabama Transfer Excellence Scholarship goes to Sabella Henry, and Sydney Skelton. The University of Alabama Roll Tide Transfer Scholarships goes to these two recipients, Cynthia Lorraine Inculikie and Stephen Ray Eisenberg. University of Alabama Roll Tide Transfer Scholarship and U University of Alabama Leadership Achievement Scholarship goes to Harrison Glenn Nicholas Philip Clark and Madison Layfield Madeline Layfield The University of Alabama Community College Excellence Scholarship goes to recipient Annie B. Jones. Now students, if you have a scholarship marked numbers 9 through 13, please make your way forward and to the right as well. Thank you. We'll begin with our Athens State uh, University scholarships. And today we have Mr. Joseph Kalunga here today to present those scholarships on behalf of Dr. Catherine Wellberg, interim president of Athens State University. Athens State University transfer scholarship recipients are Katie Britton, <laughs> Kelly Edwards, Sabella Henry, Brianna Farrell, and Holly Bonds. Thank you, Mr. Klinga. 
Next, we'll move on to the um, University of Alabama at Birmingham Scholarship. Mrs. Brittany Snow is here today to present those scholarships on behalf of Dr. Ray Watts, president of the University of Alabama at Birmingham. <clears throat> we'll begin with the University of Alabama at Birmingham Transfer Presidential Scholarships. Those go to Sabella Henry, and Madeline Layfield. We'll move on to the UAB Transfer Excellence Scholarships, and those recipients are Jordan Clark, Chesley Duke, Connor Faulkner, Annie Jones, Cynthia Inkulikie, and Brittany Ridley. Next, we have the UAB Phi Theta Kappa Scholarship Awards. First one goes to Denia Cunningham. Marissa Hayes. Gabrielle Moore. Melody Myers. Huntley Pointer, Zane Probus, and Maggie Rebarchik. Our UAB Transfer Pathway Scholarship Award winners are Kaylee Brothers. Carrie Grisham, Brianna Hurtado, Andrew Kimbrell, Jennifer Lay, Aliyah Moncrief, and Ariana Threat. Let's give all the UAB recipients a round of applause as well. <laughs> Students, if you have a scholarship marked number 14 and 15, please make your way forward and to the right. Ladies and gentlemen, these are the Cardinal Foundation uh, uh, scholarships. The, count uh, the Cardinal Foundation um, scholarships are funded in part by donations made to the Cardinal Foundation, which is a local foundation that supports Gadsden State in a variety of ways, including scholarships for students. Today we have Mr. Tommy Goggins III, president of Goggins Group, with us from the Cardinal Foundation to present those awards. The past president's honorary scholarship awards $1,000 to a currently enrolled full-time Gadsden State student. The student must have and maintain a 3.0 GPA and demonstrate participation in Gadsden State activities and Cardinal Foundation events. The scholarship was created by Dr. Kathy Murphy to honor the past presidents of the Cardinal Foundation. The recipient is Mackenzie Collins. <laughs> Mackenzie is a general studies major from Rainbow City, Alabama. The Dr. 
Let us see. Williamson Leadership Scholarship is a $500 scholarship awarded to a student with a minimum of 3.0 GPA and who has shown student leadership through activities and peer and community engagement. This scholarship goes to Alexis Pettis. Alexis is a, a general studies major from Anniston, Alabama. The Dr. Gertie Lowe Memorial Scholarship honors the legacy of Dr. Lowe, a pillar of education in our community. A $1,000 scholarship is awarded to an African-American student from Etowah County with a 3.0 GPA in any major. This year's recipient is Shantara Williams. Shantara is a nursing student from Gadsden. The Lewis and Elaine Marsalis Scholarship awards $2,500 to a student with a 3.0 GPA or higher attending the Cherokee campus and enrolled in science, technology, engineering, math, and or health sciences. The first scholarship goes to Caden Bertram. The second scholarship goes to Chloe Livingston. And Chloe is a nursing major from Cedartown. The Michael Joe Wofford Scholarship, Memorial Scholarship, promotes the education of deserving students attending Gadsden State full-time who are pursuing their educational studies. It is the donor's intent to award at least one $1,000 scholarship annually. This year's recipient is Caleb Fleming. The Swoop Sprint 5K Scholarship is a $1,500 scholarship awarded to a student enrolled at any Gadsden campus, a student enrolled in a technical program, and a student enrolled at Gadsden State Cherokee. Students must have a 2.75 GPA. These scholarships are funded by the Swoop Spirit 5K Race Fundraiser hosted by the Cardinal Foundation. So if you're a runner, get involved in that so that we can give more scholarships. If you're not a runner, pretend. One of these scholarships was awarded at yesterday's Aniston's Honors Day program. The other three are, be award, are being awarded today. The first scholarship goes to Colton Cagle. The second Swoop Sprint 5K scholarship is being awarded to Allison Bates. And she brought her family. Keep hollering. Allison is a nursing major from Oxford, Alabama. The third Swoop Sprint 5K scholarship is being awarded to Connor Williams. Now, Connor is a computer science technology major from Heflin. The fourth Swoop Sprint 5K scholarship is being awarded to Hannah Goosby. <laughs> Hannah is a diagnostic medical sonography major from Gadsden. The Tim and Laura McCartney Career Technical Education Scholarship awards $1,500 to three students who have a minimum of a 2.5 GPA and who are in a technical program uh, pertaining to construction trades. The first scholarship is being awarded to Brandon Bimaka. The second scholarship is being awarded to Eduardo Francisco. Eduardo is an air conditioning and refrigeration major from Gadsden, Alabama. The third scholarship is being awarded to Lucas Renfro. Majoring in precision machining technology. 
Now, our final Cardinal Foundation Scholarship being awarded today is the William Thomas Dawson Family Scholarship, um, and it will award this year two year scholarships of $3,000 each academic year to, our, to two Etowah County students with a minimum GPA of a 3.0 one enrolled in the technical program, and one enrolled in an academic or health science program. The health science recipient is Sydney Parker. The technical recipient is Lucas Renfro. Next, we have the Chad Hawkins Educational Foundation Scholarship. It was established by faculty, staff, and friends when Dean Chad Hawkins retired from Gadsden State. It is a $1,000 scholarship awarded to a rising sophomore. We are honored to have Ms. Lynn King here to present this award. Thank you, Ms. King. This award goes to Brittany Conway. Ms. King, Brittany is a nursing major from Anniston. I don't think she's here today. No, she's not here. Doesn't look like it. But thank you, Ms. King. Mm -hmm. Next, we're, we're glad to have Mr. Christopher Griffith here today to rep to present the Sue McMeekin Griffith Scholarship, which is an endowment scholarship in memory of Sue McMeekin Griffith, the mother of Dr. Charles Griffith, Lieutenant, Gen Lieutenant General Clark Griffith, and Anita Hill. Mrs. Griffith was a longtime nursing instructor at Gadsden State and JSU. The scholarship recipient is recommended by the nursing department. This scholarship is being awarded to Christina O'Neill. Christina is a nursing major, and her current GPA is 3.2. Since she was 15 years old, she knew she wanted to help others and become a nurse. Before her dad passed away, she made a promise to him that she would accomplish her goal and become a nurse. After graduation, Christina wants to pursue a rewarding career to involve nursing and children. The Nan Pentecost Scholarship was uh, established by Eric Pentecost for his wife, Nan. It provides partial tuition assistance to a nursing student who is recommended by the nursing department. This scholarship goes to J.C. Langley. <laughs> J.C. is a, um, a nursing major, and her current GPA is 3.2. She wants to become a nurse and follow in her mother's footsteps. When she graduates, she wants to go into pediatrics. The Nell Thomas Scholarship is an endowment named after the Nell Thomas Estate. This is a $1,500 scholarship awarded annually to a nursing student who is recommended by the nursing department. The scholarship tonight, today is being awarded to Lori Coleman. Lori is a nursing major, and her current uh, GPA is 2.5. She is currently working as an LPN, and from an early age, she's always wanted to be a nurse, and after graduating, she wants to be a labor and delivery nurse. We're also very pleased today to have Jacob Vanderford with us to present the Jim Vanderford Scholarships. The Jim Vanderford Scholarship is awarded annually for various amounts to students in a technical major and recommended by the technical committee. This scholarship honors the love that Jim demonstrated for the college and the impact he had on students and faculty during his 30 years of service. This year, we have three students who are winning this scholarship. The first recipient is Darren Jones. Darren is an automotive service technology major, and his current GPA is 3.5. After he graduates from Gadsden State, he plans to work in the, in the main shop at Ford. His long-term goal is to become a master technician for Ford Motor Company. The second recipient is Eduardo Guerrero Francisco. Eduardo... 
Eduardo is an automotive so service technology major and his current GPA is 3.67. After he graduates from Gadsden State, he plans to work at Mercedes-Benz Power Plant. His long-term goal is to become successful in his chosen field. The third Jim Vanderford Scholarship is being awarded to Evan Brown. Evan is an automotive service technology major and his current GPA is 3.6. After he graduates from Gadsden State, he plans on working at a local repair shop. His long-term goal is to own a successful body shop one day. Mr. Philip Snyder will be presenting the Barry Boatwright Scholarships. The Barry Boatwright Scholarship is awarded for $500 and is selected by the Gadsden State Science Division. This scholarship is in memory of Mr. Boatwright's many years of service as a biology and chemistry instructor at Gadsden State. The recipient is Jasia Long. <laughs> Ms. Long is a, a pre-nursing major. Her current GPA is 3.75. After graduation, she wants to work in home health care and travel the world. Me too, girl. I want to travel the world. <laughs> Mr. Fred Smith and Ms. Jennifer Maddox will be presenting the ET E2 scholarships. The Community Foundation of Northeast Alabama's E2 program provi provides opportunities for continued education, associate degrees, short or long-term certificates, and skills training through Gadsden State Community College. Upon completing the education program, the ET program also provides employment opportunities through East Alabama Works and the Gadsden Career Centers. Participating students are 18 or older and have at least one five-year-old or less child. We want to congratulate Ms. Brittany Alexandria Crozier for being the recipient of the ET scholarships. And at this time, I want to, um, we had awards day yesterday at the Ayers campus in Anniston, and these two students could not make it to receive their Cardinal Foundation Scholarship Awards. And the first one of that goes to Kobe Dillard. Kobe, are you here? Congratulations, Kobe. Sorry we missed you yesterday. And Aaliyah Williams. Aaliyah, we missed you yesterday, too, but glad you're here. Students, if you have an award marked number 16 and 17, please make your way forward and to the right. We're now moving on to our Alabama Academic Team Member Awards. All Alabama Academic Team Members recipients, and each of these team members will be receiving a $1,000 scholarship to the college or university of their choice. Our first recipient is Sabella Henry. Sabella, are you tired? <laughs> Sabella is president of Phi Theta Kappa and is an honors scholar. Sabella plans to complete her degree in math education because she wants to share her love for math with the world. Our second recipient, yes, is Harrison Glenn. Harrison plans to enroll at the University of Alabama, where he'll pursue a degree in health care management. Now we'll move on to our Rising Scholar Awards. 
The following students have maintained at least a 3.5 GPA, will have completed 24 to 53 credit hours by the end of the spring semester, and exhibit service to the college community by participating in at least one extracurricular activity. They have been nominated by the Gadsden State faculty and staff, and this year's Rising Scholar Award recipients are Allie Taylor, Brandon Fears, Selena Norton, Christopher Wimpy, Dalton Chestnut, Destiny Bradley, Dontarius Coleman, Alicia Sims, Elisha Sims, Emily Morrison, Emily Rowe, Hadassah Dorado, Jackson Prim, Jasmine Fomby, Joseph Bo Brown, Cadence Priest, Carinza Morgan, Caitlin McCurley, Kaylee Green, Kelsey Cooper, Layla Hammett, Leah Campbell, Lethia Marshall, Lillian McDeal, Logan Watts, Macy New, Maggie Rabarchik, Mackenzie Collins, Randy Morgan, Stephanie Maldonado, Thomas Cole Jackson, Tiffany Ray Savin, Yasmin Fodi. Zoe Michaelia Highfield. <laughs> Students, if you have an award march number 18, please make your way forward and to the right.
We're moving on to the Student of Distinction Awards. The following students have maintained at least a 3.5 GPA and will have completed at least 54 credit hours by the end of this spring semester and exhibit service to the college and community by participating in at least one extracurricular activity. They've been nominated by the faculty and staff, and this year's Student of Distinction Award recipients are Ashley Hawk, Ashley Shaddix, Austin Lambert, Avery McRae, Brittany White, Caitlin Simone O'Neill, Chase Lopas, Christian Proper, Claire Williams, Clarissa Williams, Clark Vincent Oliphant, Connor Lee Faulkner, Coriana Underwood, Daniel Brown, Denidria Ash Baba, Domingo Andre Jr. Emily Phillips. Harrison Glenn. Haya Gazal. Hugh Moore. Jacob Davis. Jessica Brumlow. Jordan Clark. Joshua McKenzie. Katie Minton. Kaylee Leanne Dove, Kendra Perry, Madeline Layfield, Madison Atchley,
Mia Bailey. Nataji Oket. Nora Bunky. Randall Scott Cortez the second. I love that. Sabri Ross. Salani Patel. Sabella Henry. Scott Rogers. Summer Zamora. Taylor Edmondson. <laughs> Tiffany Madison Durham. <laughs> Timothy William Geis. Tyson Trammell. William Kyle Roberts. Now, students, if you have an award scholarship marked number 19 to 43, please make your way forward and to the right. The first award we'll be giving out was our Outstanding Chemistry Student Award. And that recipient is Summer Zamora. Summer plans on graduating from Gadsden State and transferring to JSU to pursue a major in marine biology with a double major in chemistry. Her ultimate goal is to obtain a graduate degree in biology to research marine wildlife and coastal conservation. The next chemistry award goes to Scott Rogers. Scott is from East Aboga, Alabama. He is a biology major who has worked very hard to make outstanding grades in organic chemistry. Congratulations, Scott Rogers. Our Outstanding Cardinal Tutoring Center Peer Tutor Awards. They are next. Now our Cardinal Tutoring Center is, is, is dedicated to creating a learning environment that enhances the success of students by providing quality tutoring services for all students. Across all of the campuses, our, our peer tutors serve students in person, virtually, and embedded in the classes and programs. The first award goes to Cassie Marie Bergstresser.
Cassie's gone above and beyond as a peer tutor and as a student at Gadsden State. Not only has she tutored successfully for nine semesters, but she's also tutored at three of our four tutoring centers during that time. Thank you, Cassie. She'll be finishing her nursing studies at Gadsden State this semester. Next award is our Outstanding Cardinal Arts Journal Contributor Award. That award goes to Tashana Barton. Tashana is a Gadsden State student from Gadsden. She's receiving an Outstanding Student Award for the Cardinal Arts Journal in recognition of her creative writing work, especially in prose poetry. Congratulations to Shauna. Next is our outstanding English student, Caitlin McCurley. Caitlin plans on earning her associate's degree in nursing from Gadsden State before transferring to UAB, where she'll earn a bachelor's degree. Her ultimate goal is to become a doctor. After achieving that goal, she'll use her skills and compassion to make the world a better place for all that cross her path. Next award is Mason Freeman. Mason is a freshman at Gadsden State from Madison, Alabama. He pitches for the Gadsden State baseball team and is a pursuing a career in engineering. He's receiving an award for outstanding student in English composition for his analytical writing skills and attention to detail. Next, we have Sarah Carlisle. Sarah is from Southside, majoring in general studies. She's an excellent writer and a more excellent student. Next, we move on to our Outstanding Speech Award. The winner of this award is Alyssa Farley. Alyssa. Alyssa plans to graduate from Gadsden State in December of 24. After that, she plans to study ministry at the New Orleans Theological Seminary. Now we're going to move on to our Outstanding International Student Award. This award goes to Serge, Serge Assi. He's from... Abidjan in the Ivory Coast. And do you think he's a favorite around here? Yes. <laughs> he's a graduate of the Alabama Language Institute and graduated in May. He plans to transfer to Texas A&M University to pursue a degree in petroleum engineering. The James L. Brown Free Enterprise Scholarship was established in 1984 and is a $1,000 scholarship presenting to an outstanding business major. The award is made possible by James Brown, Chief Executive Officer of the Economy Rent-A-Car in Macon, Georgia, who graduated in business administration from Gadsden State in 71. This scholarship goes to Derek Smits. Derek is a graduate of Oxford High School and has been an advocate for disability rights for years. He began his studies in, in uh, Gadsden State and Paired Legal Program and uh, Derek's advocacy business is committed to education and awareness of disability issues, especially in the special education space. Congratulations. The Dr. Jesse Walker Jr. Business Faculty Scholarship is a $500 scholarship awarded to a business major. It was named by the business faculty in honor of Dr. Jesse Walker upon his retirement from Gadsden State, where he served as academic director of the area of business for over 20 years. This scholarship is being awarded to Brittany White. <laughs> Brittany has a 3.8 GPA. And uh, she's had a background in the medical field and recited, decided to return to Gadsden State in the fall to pursue her degree in an office administration, medical coding, and scribing to open up new opportunities in her career path. 
She's maintained the high GPA and excellence in her work in every class, taking on 19 hours in the fall in the, and in the spring, and also keeping up with her three very active children. She's, she is set to graduate in the summer semester. <laughs> Outstanding Accounting Student Awards. First one goes to Raquel Martinez. Raquel will earn a general studies degree with a business concentration this year. She's a fantastic student who's willing to spend time to fully understand concepts and is always willing to help her classmates understand as well. Raquel is a DACA recipient and she is a great example for fellow dreamers. <laughs> Kari Weinman is from Southside. Kari? Kari works hard to maintain her 3.9 GPA. She is an incredibly intelligent and motivated student. Kari, who gave you a B? You can tell me later. <laughs> Our next recipient is Sawyer Miller. Sawyer is in the general studies program with a concentration in computer information systems. Is Sawyer here? All right. Next, we move on to our Outstanding Accounting Technology students. The first recipient is Timothy Geis. His teacher writes, he is a one-of-a-kind person and is a wonderful student. In addition to holding an MS in mathematics, he will complete the Accounting Technology program this spring with plans to pr uh, to further his education in accounting. He has a gift for being both incredibly genuine and, for fun, and fun. He is willing to ask questions and help others both in the classroom and as a student leader. Next is Tracy Stanford. You can get her later, Tracy. Tracy is in accounting technology this semester with a 4.0 GPA. It's clear that she always puts 100% into her studies. She's attentive, helpful, and it's always been a pleasure to have in class each semester. Next, we move on to our outstanding business administration student. The recipient is Carrie Weinman. Kari is from Southside and works very hard to maintain that 3.9 GPA. And you're going to whisper in my ear who gave you that B as you walk across the stage. Her teacher writes that she is incredibly intelligent and she is incredibly motivated. Congratulations. Our outstanding computer science students, first award goes to Josiah Boyd. Mitchell Hannon. Morgan Walker. Now we'll move on to outstanding network and cybersecurity students. The first award goes to Darius Spencer. Darius is transferring to Auburn in the fall of 24 to pursue a Bachelor's of Computer Science. Afterwards, he plans to advance his career in software development or cloud engineering. He is very grateful to Frank Cornett and Billa Berger and the entire Computer Science Department. Next, we have Denidria Baba. Denidria uh, plans to continue her studying at Western Governors University or the University of Alabama at Birmingham. Next is Jalen Pace Johnson.
And after graduation, Jalen plans to transfer to, the, to UAH for mechanical engineering. Next, we have Scotty Cortez. After graduation, Scotty plans to continue studying cybersecurity with the goal of becoming an ethical hacker. Now, Scotty, I teach ethics, so we got to have a talk, okay? He wants to earn more certifications and more Google, Google uh, cybersecurity certifications in the near future. Our next award is Tyler L. Elmore. Tyler will begin working on a bachelor's degree in the fall of 24 at Capella University. His future plans include pursuing a master's in cybersecurity, and his goal is to find a job opportunity that will allow him to travel and experience the different parts of the world. Now we move on to outstanding economics students. The award goes to Nicholas Ford. Nicholas was selected for this award because of his exceptional interest in economics. He always wants um, after class uh, to discuss economic issues either from the, from the day's lectures or from his outside readings. He is constantly interested in readings and economics and discussing the things that he reads. His enthusiasm and willingness to learn are an inspiration. Now we'll move on to outstanding office administration student. And that goes to Solani Patel. And now our Office Administration Medical Coding and Scribing Student Awards go to Ashley Hawk. Ashley has a perfect 4.0 GPA. And she's set to complete her degree in office administration and medical coding uh, this summer semester of 24. She plans to use her knowledge she's gained to this program to pass her medical coding certifications and find a career in the field and to make her three children proud. You will, Mama. You will make them proud. Brittany White. Now, Brittany has a 3.8 GPA, and having had a background in the medical field, she decided to return to Gadsden State for office administration. Um, she's maintained the high GPA in every class, and again, she has taken 19 hours every semester. That's a lot, and she's set to graduate in the summer semester. Congratulations, Brittany. Now we'll do the recognition of Lambda Epsilon Chi Awards. Lambda Epsilon Chi is the National Honor Society for paralegal students who have demonstrated superior academic performance. Inductees must have an overall grade point average of at least a 3.25 plus a grade point average in their paralegal classes of at least a 3.5. These recipients are Alexis Rajtuez, Aubrey Ball, Christina Hollis, Emily Garman, Nora Christine Bunky. Riley Michelle Hull, and Yolanda Melson Peters. Congratulations to all those students as well. 
Now we'll move on to our Outstanding History Student Awards. The first award goes to Victoria McGinnis. Our Outstanding History and Western Civ Student Award goes to Brooklyn Barley. Brooklyn is an outstanding student with a 4.0 GPA, and she excels in historical analysis and essay writing. Now we'll move on to outstanding child development students. The first award is Marianne Northington. Her teacher writes, Marianne has been a breath of fresh air for her classmates and for me as well. She's bursting with creative ideas and stories for her children in the classroom. She's full of energy and is very deserving of this award. And she's cold. <laughs> the next award is Summer Boyenton. Summer is a joy to work with in the child development program. She's professional, patient, and thorough with her teaching. She's also an example of a student who is, I, I was able to persevere and has turned out to be an excellent teacher of young kids. Next, we move to the Outstanding Mathematics Pre-Engineering Student Awards. The first award goes to Jaden Gibbs. Jaden is from Hoax Bluff, and he is a pre-engineering major, but plans to transfer to Auburn in the fall. He'll pursue a degree in computer engineering. John Michael Weaver. John Michael is from Gunnersville, Alabama, and he's majoring in civil engineering and plans to transfer to UAH. He currently has a 4.0 GPA. Lauren Davis. Lauren is, a, um, a, is from Newmarket, Alabama, and she's majoring in education mathematics and plans to transfer to Jacksonville State University. Samuel Luke Morton. All right, Serge, you might have some competition there. Luke is majoring in com computer engineering and plans to transfer to UAH. He has a perfect 4.0 GPA. <laughs> William Frampton. William is from Center, Alabama, and he's majoring in general studies. He plans to transfer to Auburn University, and he also has a 4.0 GPA. Next, we move on to the Outstanding Show Band Students. First award is Isaiah Shoup. He has been a member of the show band for the last three semesters and has proven to be a masterful musician. His plan is to complete his studies at Gadsden State and transfer to UAB to major in marketing. Our Outstanding Choral Student Awards go to Evan Teague. Evan will transfer to JSU on a music scholarship where he'll study jazz piano. He's been an integral part of the acapella choir and show band and is currently student conductor of the acapella choir. Evan has a bright future and has an infectious personality. Sydney Day. Sydney is an outstanding student participating in the choir program. She's a talented vocalist with a strong voice. Yes. She's a natural leader with a strong commitment to the arts as well. Congratulations. Our Outstanding Fine Arts Student Awards. First goes to Emily Catherine Phillips. Outstanding Theater Student Awards, Jacob Morris Reinhardt. 
Jacob has played the lead or major supporting role in each of the first two semesters with Gadsden State Theater. He has demonstrated an unparalleled degree of professionalism in his both productions and in the classroom. Next is Jonas Micah Abernathy. Jonas has played a lead or major supporting role in the Gadsden Theater Productions for four consecutive semesters. He was most recently seen on the stage as Tom in Tennessee Williams' The Glass Menagerie. Next, we have Lily Grace Barber. Lily has played a lead or supporting role in multiple uh, Gadsden State productions. She's a natural on stage and a delight to work with, both in the classroom and during production. She was last seen as Amanda in Tennessee Williams' The Glass Menagerie. <laughs> Students, if you have an award scholarship marked 44 through 61, please make your way forward. We'll begin with our Outstanding Baptist Campus Ministry Student Award. And that goes to Ava Wilson. As a freshman, Ava has been faithful in attending Monday Bible studies, helping lead worship for Second Sunday worship services, and participated in the spring missions trip, and is excited about serving in the leadership in BCM next fall. Our Outstanding SGA Award. First award. The award goes to Katie Daniel. Katie is majoring in general studies and plans to graduate from Gadsden State and continue her education at JSU to major in elementary education. She's done a fantastic job as the president of the Student Government Association and will make an excellent teacher. Outstanding Ambassador Award goes to Madison Atchley. In her time with the Ambassador Program, Madison has given many campus tours, worked multiple events, and been a great team member. She truly embodies Gadsden State's core belief of excellence, accountability, inclusion, service, and integrity. Congratulations. Our Outstanding Health Science Radiography Student Award goes to Shelby Davis. Shelby is the class president of the radiography program and she'll be graduating from Gadsden State in May and has accepted a full-time position already in the X-ray department of Grandview Regional, Grandview Medical Center. In the near future, she plans to further education in computer top tomography. Our outstanding air conditioning and refrigerating technology student award goes to Justin Jenkins. Our Outstanding Auto Collision Repair Technology Student Award goes to Austin Gilliland. Austin has a 4.0 GPA and plans on pursuing a career in the auto collision refinishing and plans on opening his own shop. Our Outstanding Automotive Service Technology Student Award goes to John Parker Gammon. JP has set a high standard for future automotive students by maintaining a 3.8 GPA while overcoming double hip surgery as a student here at Gadsden State. JP has held a high standard of professionalism as a student at Gadsden State in his studies. Our Outstanding Construction Technology Student Award goes to Carmela Gomez. Our Outstanding Court Reporting Student Award goes to Tori Smith. Tori has excelled in court reporting at Gadsden State and she's maintained an overall GPA of 3.8. Her plans after graduation from Gadsden State is to work as a freelance court reporter. <clears throat> Our Outstanding Electrical Technology Student Award goes to Jackson Barron. Jackson plans to graduate from Gadsden State and pursue a career in the automotive manufacturing field as a maintenance electrician in the Huntsville area. 
Our Outstanding Industrial Automation Technology Student Award goes to John Crane. John will graduate from Gadsden State this spring and plans to obtain a job as an industrial maintenance technician. Our Outstanding Precision Machining Student Award goes to Chris Breesey. Chris will graduate Gadsden State with two associate's degrees and multiple industry and school certifications. He's been a team leader on multiple state and national competitions where he's been an example and a mentor to his classmates, and he's helped many advance in their potential. <laughs> Outstanding Salon and Spa Management Student Award goes to Jasmine Meadows. Jasmine has a passion for beauty. Her goal is to become well-established in this profession and open her own salon. When she graduates, she'll have a GPA of a 3.6. <laughs> Outstanding Welding Technology Student Award goes to Jackson Rogers. JR is a fine young man with a great worth ethic. He has maintained a 3.937 GPA while running a farm in Spring Garden, and he earned his CDL license while attending Gadsden State as well. <laughs> Outstanding Civil Engineering Technology Student Award goes to J.C. Devine. JC plans to transfer to UAB and major in Civil Engineering. Ultimately, her goal is to become a licensed professional engineer. Our Outstanding Mechatronics, Robotics, and Automation Technology Student Award goes to Dwayne Childers. The Rena and Edgar McGord Scholarship is awarded annually with preference given to an education major who is recommended by the scholarship committee. This scholarship goes to Samuel Jaggers. Samuel here. Now we're ready for the finale of our um, award ceremony today. My legs are killing me. We're going to move on to Outstanding Achievement Awards. It's now to present, it's time to present the 2024 Outstanding Achievement Awards for the Gadsden Service Area. These awards place special emphasis on those students who have overcome hardships or difficulties while attending Gadsden State but they still found success in their educational endeavors. The Honors Committee chose four very worthy students as the recipients of this award. The first award goes to Ashley Shaddix. <laughs> now, Ashley has overcome more obstacles in her young life than most people will see in a lifetime. Growing up in an unstable family environment, Ashley moved 17 different times before graduating high school. Upon completing high school, she was a victim of domestic violence and turned to addiction to cope. Ashley, stay up here, babe. Stay up here. There you go. You deserve this. Okay. As a young mother, she was lost in a cycle of abuse and ultimately lost custody of children. In 2019, she turned her life over to Jesus and started a new journey toward her degree at Gadsden State. With encouragement from her husband, Harry, she enrolled as a nursing major at Gadsden State. She's had incredible support from instructors like Dr. Wheeler, Dr. Jenkins, and Mr. Skillman. Today, Ashley has custody of her children, and she has a path toward a brighter future. Our second recipient is a resident of the uh, is a resident of the 2024 Outstanding Achievement Award, and that goes to Cassie Bergstresser. <laughs> Don't cry, Cassie. You're gonna make me cry. Okay, stop. <laughs> Cassie is dedicated to her future and has shown great courage during her time as a nursing student at Gadsden State. After her youngest child began kindergarten, Cassie decided to pursue a degree in nursing. With the encouragement of her family, she created a plan for success. At Gadsden State, Cassie served as a peer tutor in the Cardinal Tutoring Center, volunteered for many activities, and been in the dean's list more than once. During Cassie's third semester as a nursing student, she became very ill with strange symptoms that overtook her life. After visiting multiple doctors, she was diagnosed with Bissett syndrome. 
the Shet Syndrome. This diagnosis has not slowed her down as she plans to graduate from Gadsden State and continue her education to become a nurse practitioner so that she can be an advocate for those in need. She's the wife of Justin Bergstresser and the mother of three children, Keith, Kimber, and Waylon. Congratulations, Kathy. Thanks, Kathy. Our third recipient um, of the award goes to Gregorio Antonio. Sergeant Promotable Gregorio Antonio is a member of the U.S. Army. Having served our country for the past 14 years, Gregorio has learned a lot about leadership and determination. He's currently enrolled in the Human Services Program and seeks to uh, a, a career in veterans counseling. He hopes to assist veterans as they, trans, uh, they transition to civ civilian life. He works full time and manages to stay ahead of his assignments. He's been named to the Dean's List and President's List and is also the father of a six-year-old, Dion Antonio. Congratulations. And thank you for your service. Our fourth recipient is Taylor Edmondson. Is Taylor here? Okay. Here? She was here? She might not have known she was getting this award. Taylor, are you in the back? Hang on. It's like Susan Lucci at the Emmys. Remember, she, she walked out and didn't know that she had won an award. Is she really out there? Taylor, come on down. You're the next contestant. Girl, did you not know you're getting this award? Come on up. Look at her. She's running in heels, too. Man. Taylor is completing her degree in salon and spas management, and she's had many life experiences that most could not overcome. While working full-time for her father's business, Taylor was attacked by two dogs and was left disabled for a short period of time. This experience altered the path of her life forever. She had been raised and trained to take over her father's business, but her medical limitations did not allow for that. Taylor would not let her injuries limit her forever. Therefore, she enrolled in the salon and spa program at Gadsden State. She wants women to feel good about themselves. So she's created a business plan to open her own spa, and she wants to set an example for her daughter to always find a new path if hers should ever change. <laughs> Is that your baby down there? Is that your... Wave, wave, daughter. Wave. Uh, all right. <laughs> Next, we move on to the President's Cup Awards. The President's Cup is given to a student who demonstrates ex exceptional success in all phases of college life. One award is given to a deserving academic student, a health science student, and one technical student. The academic award, it's my honor to present the President's Cup to an academic student, the technical student, and a student in the health sciences from all campuses. The President's Cup is a designated award for students who demonstrate success in all phases of college life. The winner of this award is Harrison Glenn. Harrison, this is a big deal. Harrison will receive a general study degree with a focus in business management at our upcoming May 9th commencement ceremony. He plans to enroll in business management courses at the University of Alabama and earn a bachelor's degree and an, a master of uh, business administration. He hopes to one day be the CEO or the chief operating officer of a hospital. Our Health Science Award, they've added a President's Cup exclusively for a student in health science this year who has demonstrated excellence during their time at Gadsden State. The first ever recipient of the President's Cup for the Health Science Division for the Gadsden and Cherokee campuses is Joshua McKenzie.
Josh is a non-traditional student who will complete requirements for a degree in nursing in December. Upon graduation, he plans to work in intensive care and work towards a bachelor's degree and eventually earn credentials to be a nurse anesthetist. Joshua is a former SWAT team leader, patrol supervisor, and combat veteran, which means don't mess with him. At Gadsden State, Joshua is a member of PTK and is president of his nursing class. In the community, he's on the welcome staff for the Iron City Baptist Church and is a coach for White Plains Little League Baseball. It's with great pleasure that we present this President Cup to Joshua McKenzie. The technical division recipient of the President's Cup is both a student and an employee, Kyle Roberts. Kyle works in the maintenance department and will earn a degree in electrical technology next month. The father of four has maintained a 4.0 GPA and has remained on the president's list each semester. Upon graduation, he plans to, re to remain working at Gadsden State to use the skill he's learned to perform his job duties to the best of his ability. Congratulations. Today, we're honored to have Mr. Chris Ray with us to present the Alan Ray Award. The Alan Ray Award is the highest honor given to a student at Gadsden State Community College. This award is presented in honor of the late Senator James Allen and the late Jack Ray, former CEO of the Exchange Bank of Alabama. Both men were active supporters of Gadsden State. It is given to the student considered to have been the most outstanding for the 23-24 school year. This year's recipient of the Allen Ray Presidential Pres uh, is president of Phi Theta Kappa and is an honor scholar. She's a member of the 2024 Gadsden State Homecoming Court. She's been uh, recognized with the Outstanding English Student Award, the Outstanding Mathematics uh, Student Award, the Rising Scholar Award, and she's on the All Academic, All Alabama Academic Team and was a recipient to attend uh, the PTK International Convention where Gadsden State was recognized as a five-star chapter and won the Distinguished College Project for the work PTK members do for the annual event for local teachers, counselors, and administrators. This student has been involved in a great deal of service to our college and community. She's a mathematics and computer literacy volunteer tutor for adult education services, and she works at the campus bookstore. I'm getting tired, gosh. She's volunteered at the Cardinal Gala, Candy with the Cardinals, G-Day, Equip, and Get On Board Day. In the community, she serves as reading tutor at Donahue Elementary School and volunteers with hospice organizations and senior, uh, senior centers. The student will graduate in May with an associate degree in general studies, and she plans to later earn a bachelor's, master's, and education specialist degree. Her goal is to teach high school math and to inspire students the way that her teachers at Gadsden State have inspired her. This year's recipient of the prestigious Alan Ray Award is Sabella Henry. Congratulations, Sabella. <laughs> As we close, let me remind everyone that spring graduation will be Thursday, May the 9th at the Cherokee Arena beginning at 6 p.m. This concludes our program, and I'd like to thank everyone on behalf of everyone up here on stage for your presence at today's programs and for supporting those we came together to honor. We hope you to see you at graduation on May the 9th. Thank you. <laughs>